Hey everyone, it's grocery shopping day. It's actually close to four hours since I actually left home. I'm back home now. I didn't get to really film anything in Aldi or Walmart, which are the two stores that I went to today. I thought if I had like something great to share, I would share. Aldi was so busy that it would have been a little bit hard to kind of film in there and um, and they didn't have any stickers. When I do see the discount stickers, I always like to film those and point those out to you so you can see what departments I typically find those stickers in. It's usually bread and meat would be typical discount spots at Aldi. Walmart, there was really nothing um, amazing to share at Walmart. This came in at about $550. So let me show you what all I got. I thought it was actually going to be a lot more because I felt like we needed a lot of groceries, but I realized what we really needed, needed, <laughs> uh, probably things, I mean, we can make a lot of the things that we say we need, right? But the things that I needed were the things like in the middle of the store because, well, I'll get to that as we go along. So first up, I did pick up this thin and crispy pizza because let's say it all together, tonight is going to be pizza night. And uh, Warren is at a meeting. When he gets home from that, um, which it probably, we won't be eating this pizza until probably 7.38, maybe even later than that. But anyway, I picked up three of the cheese and sausage portesi, as well as a Mama Cozy thin and crispy white spinach pizza. That just sounded so good to me. I'm probably the only person that'll have a piece of that, um, but then it'll make great leftovers for tomorrow. Now, this grocery haul, we are starting harvest. Uh, Warren is going to start flooding on Saturday and then picking up pipe on Sunday and then start um, booming or corralling the beds, the cranberries on Monday and uh, starting to deliver on Tuesday. So <laughs> things are really moving along. I did want to make sure that I had plenty of like quick things for lunch, for lunches. I do have two tours scheduled as well as a book signing and just other things. We have our homeschool co-op, you know, other things just don't stop even though it is cranberry harvest. So anyway, I wanted to have some like quick lunch things. All I have is like meat in a bag because we just bought that half a hog. We still have venison, like stew meat, steaks, mini roasts, large roasts. And next week, we should be getting a half of a steer. So we are going to be set uh, for a lot of meat. And I do have a little bit of chicken in the basement. And with all of the expense of the hog and the steer, I thought I'm not going to get a whole lot of meat other than just some of the quick things that we like to have for breakfasts with like breakfast sandwiches. These work really well for that. Some meatballs. If I needed like a little bit uh, larger lunch, this could make a great lunch. Just this in a jar of sauce and a box of noodles. Be really, really fast. I can put this with the sauce in the crock pot in the morning and whenever I need to, you know, a half an hour before it's time to eat, just start my noodles. I did pick up some of these beef sausages. I like to keep these on hand. Some of the kids and I really like these and it's just a nice thing to just kind of grab and go if you need to have a good high protein snack. Some ham because I usually like to make the 4-H ham sandwiches at least sometime during harvest. So I picked that up to make those. Two bags of this, of these, um, Chicken breast fillets, they make great sandwiches. You can slice them, serve them on top of lettuce as a like a little crispy chicken salad. Slice them up and then smother them in a, what would you call it, like a honey barbecue? Not a honey, I'm thinking, like a honey mustard. You could slather them in a honey mustard. You could slather them in a buffalo sauce. Really anything, and it just turns into a really yummy, but very, very fast supper. Hash brown patties, because you guys know that we always like to have those on hand. I did see at Aldi today these onion rings. I'm not sure if I've had these before, but I thought I would give these a try, as well as two bags of uh, tater tots. I'm really starting to think hearty 
and casseroles and soups and stews and roasts and just all the good fall foods. And I, I know that tater tot casserole is something I haven't made in a long time. So I'm going to earmark that for one of the days this next week. I did pick up some of the garlic and the white cheddar cheese curds from Aldi. They're finally having cheese curds again, which is nice. Some string cheese as well as some cheddar cheese sticks and some Colby Monterey Jack sticks. And then I'm back to my I'm not going to buy shredded cheese kind of thing. So I bought a whole a lot of blocks of cheese here. Just used up the shredded cheese from last month's grocery haul here. And now I'm like, no, I'm not going to get shredded. I'm going to shred it on my own. So just a whole bunch of different types of cheeses here. I actually ended up with one, two, with four pounds of cheese, one carton of cottage cheese, and then some cream cheese. You know, it is time for cream cheese frosting. <laughs> a couple containers of Cool Whip, a great big variety pack. It's been a while since I've bought one of these, and so when the kids saw that, they were just over the moon <laughs> squealing as they were helping me unload the groceries. So this is always a nice, um, it's always a good treat. And then I did pick up some canned goods here. So four cans of the mixed vegetables. I have two cans of chili beans. I am ready for taco soup, and I know Peter and Joe would be ready for taco soup as well. And then kidney beans, so six cans of kidney beans because, of course, Warren is always ready for chili. Well, Warren and Joe. <laughs> four cans of cream of chicken soup, four cans of cream of mushroom. And then we'll start back over here with some cereal. So we just call this Special K with strawberries, but well, Aldi calls it Vitality Cereal. Four boxes of graham crackers just to make everybody happy, especially Joe. Honey Nut Cheerios. Peter asked before I went to the store, he said, if they have something like Lucky Charms, would you get it? So I picked up marshmallows and stars, as well as some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I know this is a lot of cereal, but the plan is to pack a few of these, like let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of cereal. I will put three of these away or like hide them up behind things. Um, and like bring these out in a couple of weeks so so that they don't all get eaten at once because Maria already said to me as as we were she was helping me her and Joe were helping me line everything up on the table and Maria's like I'm gonna have to have six bowls of cereal tomorrow because everyone looks good and then some of these golden grams as well as the life those are all the name brands this is the Aldi ones, but you guys, you guys all know what I mean by all of those types of cereals. And some Parmesan cheese, some chili sauce, along with some grape jelly. I know Sam has been want wanting Little Smokies, and I have a couple packages in the freezer. And I thought maybe one of these Sundays for a Packer game, that would make for a great afternoon snack. Um, some barbecue sauce and ranch just so that we don't run out. You ever run out of something like barbecue sauce, ranch, or ketchup? And it's just like, whew, the house just like has a meltdown. <laughs> some salt, Miracle Whip, mayo. I go back and forth. A few people in one of my last grocery hauls mentioned that they really like the Aldi Berman's mayonnaise better than maybe Kraft or Hellman's or something. And I've gotten this before. I really get whatever. I, I'm honestly not picky with my mayo. I know some people really are, but I'm not. So I get whatever I kind of feel like for that day. And then some seasoned salt as well as some other spices. I needed some nutmeg and cumin. It was time to get some more honey and some olive oil, and I picked up some syrup. I honestly, I don't really care for this kind of syrup. I like pure maple syrup, or I like to just make my own syrup, which is, I mean, it's just sugar and <laughs> corn syrup and vanilla and maple extract, but I, I really like that syrup, but sometimes I just forget to make it and have it on hand. I've never tried this before, the baking spray, which has the flour in it. I thought I'd give that a try and then just some regular vegetable spray, some oatmeal. So it is September 14th uh, when I'm filming this. Normally I will do my once a month grocery shopping right at the very beginning of the month, uh, but I don't know, it just seemed like we had a lot of groceries and with our garden really producing, we've been getting muskmelons 
just about every other day we have a muskmelon to pick. One day we picked three. Today we finally picked another watermelon and it was so delicious. Uh, it was just just red and delicious. It tasted just like the watermelon um, watermelons of my youth. And so that was really good. We're still getting cucumbers. We're still getting handfuls of green beans. We have tomatoes. Um, what else is out there? We're going to be having squash here shortly, zucchini still, carrots, lots of carrots, onions. So the garden is still really producing. And so we've been just like pulling from there and eating a lot of that. Our apple trees now are ready to go. It's not a huge crop because we had that really hard spring frost, it froze off a lot of the blossoms, but we still, we're still going to get apples. All of that was basically just an explanation why it seems like Boy, it's been a long time since I've had to do a big grocery haul. Some bagels, I went with the minis this time, cinnamon raisin as well as the plain. English muffins, because pizza burger mix is a great, great um, thing to keep in the refrigerator. I can make like a double batch of pizza burger mix and then it could last us two, maybe even three lunches. And so I wanted to get some of those. One loaf of bread. We haven't been going through that much bread and I've been baking a loaf of bread like here and there and so that kind of keeps us going as well um, oh and I did buy a loaf of bread from the farmers market so it, it's just kind of all been working out I bought three packages of hamburger buns and three of hot dog buns I have some of the pre-cooked brats in the fridge right now and I thought um, that would also make another really good lunch or quick supper I did stop at Quick Trip because they have butter for $2.49 a pound. It's a limit of two this time. So I just picked up two and then I was going to get it at Aldi, but it was a lot more expensive. I also picked up two dozen eggs. We are out of eggs again. I've been doing a little bit more baking lately. I had to bake for, oh, I had to bake for our homeschool opening ceremony. And then I bake something again and I think Warren baked and <laughs> we're just going through our eggs so fast right now and you know we only have six hens. For fruit I didn't get very much just some grapes which were on sale for $1.29 a pound and just a small bunch of bananas because like I said we're getting watermelon and muskmelon. Oh I bought pears like a it's called a half peck or a quarter peck or something like that a half peck of pears from the farmers market so we're waiting for those to ripen our apples on the trees now we're going to be having cranberries here so we have plenty of fruits I picked up some lettuce here some salad fixings as well as celery some potatoes and then some of this Boston lettuce I've been liking this it is more expensive than iceberg and I mean it's it's not as densely packed but I find that we actually use it and we don't waste any so that's always good I picked one head of cauliflower to roast in the oven and then a jug of apple cider. thought I got two instant mashed potatoes, but maybe I just got one. Hmm. A box of instant mashed potatoes. And then I did stock up on three of the caramel dips. We love to dip cranberries in caramel. That's just a, a favorite. And then some baking cocoa, some beef bouillon cubes, pepper, one box of rotini, um, 10 pounds of flour and this is the flour that I like so well the all-purpose unbleached flour from Walmart and Sometimes this can be hard to find and this is all Walmart had today. So that was all I got today Oatmeal here old-fashioned oats four boxes of macaroni and cheese I did pick up two boxes of spaghetti and then some cake mixes, one devil's food, and two classic yellows, along with one box of scalloped potatoes. I made two boxes the other day as a side to go along with something, steaks or something like that, and, um, and I have one box, but I like to keep two on hand. Let's say that when I make the ham sandwiches, I don't use all of this. Whatever's left, I can chop it up and I can put it into two boxes of scalloped potatoes in a 9 by 13 pan and then put some shredded cheese on top. I did get four bags of chocolate chips, two of the minis and two of the regular size chocolate chips and four pounds of brown sugar, some vanilla and chocolate pudding mixes, Crisco shortening, some more, oh my goodness, I guess I got baking cocoa at Aldi and then I must have forgotten and then I got it at Walmart too. That's funny how my brain is 
not working. Uh, some corn. I did get eight pounds of sugar, and sugar was really expensive today. It was like 309, I believe. Was it 309? No, it couldn't have been. Was it 209? Hmm, I'd have to look. Anyway, all I know is that when I looked at it, I was like, wow, that is pricey today. And then some cashews and some of this whole grain granola. Picked up walnuts and syrup and then some molasses. This is my favorite molasses, the grandma's with the yellow cap. It is just the right strength. Um, there is another one that I got one time and it was so strong. Um, yeah, we just didn't care for it. Saltines, pita crackers. These are so delicious. And then the um, sweet and salty almond and just a variety of granola style bars here. The almond, the sweet and salty almond, the um, apple cinnamon, fruit and grain bar, and then two boxes of the chewy chocolate chip bars. These are great for during harvest. Like I could take one box down and I can pass it out to the crew. They're, they're just helpful to have on hand. And then some goldfish crackers here. The kids always like the flavor blasted better than the regular ones. Some of these golden rounds, some animal crackers, a box of vanilla wafers. This is just like a good old fashioned Aldi haul where I just kind of get one of everything. <laughs> Folgers Black Silk Coffee. I missed the sale that they just had at Pick and Save. I've been kind of watching and even checking online. I, I checked at Fleet Farm. Uh, sometimes Menards even will like do run a, a real good special on coffee, but I just haven't run across anything that was really good. So I just picked up one just to kind of keep our stock going. We don't want to run out of that for sure. And then two of these little cracker sticks with cheese dips, a box of fruit snacks, and then some chips here, two canisters of Pringles, some kettle chips, um, and then I did get the corn chips for taco soup, some more popcorn. We've been making actually quite a bit of popcorn in the evenings lately. I was so happy to see this last time Walmart was completely out of the on the border chips. I did get those uh, Julio's or something or Julian's or something like that. They were very, very good, uh, but we still do like these. So anyway, they had them back in stock today, so I picked those up. We have a ton of salsa. I've been making salsa. I have salsa left from last year, so we like to have just these plain tortilla chips because salsa and uh, chips and salsa is just a great snack. And then I picked up a couple things for Warren to keep in his truck. Um, some of this flavored water as well as candy bars and then another pack of like Tootsie, Tootsie Roll candy. He likes to keep something in his truck during harvest that he can pass out to the crew. He just likes to do that. So anyway, I picked that up. And then a couple of non-food items I needed today. Some cupcake liners as well as garbage bags. And it seems to me that the Boulder Flap Tie garbage bags they have like shortened the whole bag a little bit and they just don't want to stay over the edge of our garbage can anymore even though it's the 13 gallon which is what this is supposed to fit because those are you get like 80 bags or something like that for only maybe a dollar more uh, these are something like $7.99 for 45 and I think it was $8.99 for 80 bags but they just always were slipping down. It was like sometime during the last three years, they switched them up and they just stopped fitting. So I had to go to these uh, and these fit just fine. So that is everything from this grocery haul. This is going to be, uh, this is hopefully going to last my family until mid-October. I mean, I'll have to stop and pick up milk. I Oh, we also got four gallons of milk. We just put those straight out into the um, refrigerator. You guys know what milk looks like. Two whole milks, two two percents. <laughs> I will have to stop and pick up more milk throughout the month. I'll also have to stop and get some more butter, but I think like each time, because I don't know how long the butter sale goes, I'd have to look at their flyer. They started putting the flyer in the weekly paper again, which was nice. So, I'll check that and you know whenever I'm in town I'll just pick up a couple pounds of butter maybe send the kids in have them pick up a couple pounds so that we can stock up on butter we may have to pick up eggs I guess that's it <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed a full look at our groceries and just me kind of talking through a little bit of like what some of the things are that I'm going to be making this month I have nothing new nothing new 
right now. I'm just trying to keep it really simple. Seems like life has been full, just very full lately. And so simple has just been working. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.